Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of a separator board that's supposed to be high-end products uh, that's what they say on the packaging, I don't know how to pronounce this stuff but it's a separator for to separate the two layers of the boards of the iPhone X all the way up to the XS Max so that supports the X, the XS, the XS Max so you can separate the two boards it feels pretty beefy it's nice packaging so I'm kinda curious to check out the tools and uh, the quality of this company like I said I ordered this one from Union Repair I see in this uh, I think Jason did a video uh, STS did it it was pretty interesting caught my eye so I ended up ordering one myself from there so let's get on with the unboxing here I mean people will probably be worried about unboxing stuff from China right now because of the virus but can't live your life in fear so there we go Speaking of that, so this is actually supposed to put pressure onto the unit itself, like apply pressure onto the board, so you don't have to apply, you know, have any uneven surfaces applying to itself. Yeah, so I don't know what that is. So instruction manual, how to use it. Telling you where to grab it, I guess. I don't know, I can't read Chinese, but they have English, so that's good. So it's 110 volt by 220. So I imagine they probably have an adapter in this. I'm not sure. Seems like quality built. Nice packaging, by the way. This must be the controller unit, I'd imagine, or the heat plate. Oh, this is the heat plate. Yep. Oh, they got a nice little rubber backing on here. That's pretty cool having that rubber grip there. I like that. Stuff's gonna go. This is the controller. Well, obviously, with the picture. Well, we can't pull the knob off like that. You don't want to do that. That's not good, but alright. So, we got the controller there. No, I want to get a controller like this, like the JVC, and use the JVC tips. It would be kind of interesting. There's one you could build like the JVC machine that I have. I have the original from JVC, but there's actual controllers that do that, which would be kind of interesting. <clears throat> now, this must just be the wiring, I guess. Just use a different plug, obviously a US cord, it's the same thing. But instead of cutting it and splicing it, just use an actual regular computer power supply cord, which will be good. Well, hopefully it's the... ...110 model. That's what you want. So 
So let's try taking this apart here. This is what's supposed to apply the pressure to the actual boards. I do like the rubber touch to it. So obviously you have your board in there and push these down. Just like that. And then start heat preheating the board. Now, you know, for like actually separating the board, obviously you're not going to want this on there, you know, you put the board down there and just heat it up. But this is like to put pressure on actual, the board, the layers of the board, which are, it's pretty cool. So, can't wait to try out. Seems like quality built too. Kind of wonder what they make this material out of, but it's just pretty interesting. You know, this stuff uh, holds a lot of temperature. Kind of looks like it's 3D printed too, in a sense. I don't know if you could see that. I'd have to probably turn to another side view. Let's turn to a side view here. <clears throat> so here's the side view of the machine a little closer up. Imagine you could use these for reballing uh, CPUs and stuff like that. Maybe like a power management chip or something. So, and that's the plug right there. And this is the top jig right here. That applies pressure to the board for fusing it together. But what I was saying, like, this stuff looks like it, you know, it's layered. Like it's 3D printed. That'd be cool if you could 3D print that type of material. Let's see. No, that's not. I don't think it's 3D. No. So it's just basically unboxing a little review of the piece of equipment that I ordered from Union Repair. Seems like quality uh, material. Can't wait to uh, try it out and use it. Be cool if they just sent you an adapter for some people that don't know that they can't use this plug. Maybe if they're trying to attempt this repair for the first time. But you just, like I said, use a regular power cord from a power supply or something like that. So... I hope you guys liked the video and the unboxing of this. If you guys get a chance, give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. And, as always, thanks for watching.